Welcome aboard, everybody, to episode 18 of Find Music. And our mission remains the same, to turn you on to either artists you've never heard before by comparing them to artists you have, or also, quite interestingly, if an artist you are aware of has an album that maybe you're not aware of. And today, Fred, in episode 18, is going to introduce you to an artist you probably heard of, but maybe not in this way. Okay, that's the big clue. Take it away, Fred. Hey, today I'm talking about an artist from the group Big Star. Big Star came out in the early 70s, and unfortunately, their recordings went nowhere. They were gorgeous power pop, British influence, rock. And the label didn't know how to promote them because of the ownerships of other companies. When they toured, their albums weren't even in the record stores when they got to major cities. Oh my God. Uh, the two people who were key members was Alex Chilton and Chris Bell. They met at Ardent Studios where the Big Star recordings went on. They considered themselves the American Lennon and McCartney. When it came to pure power pop, Big Star number one was a great album. It's the cream of the crop. Now, both Chris Bell and Alex Chilton are unfortunately have died. But we have recordings of their early career. One is Alex Chilton, Free Again, the 1969 recordings. <clears throat> In between the box tops, which Alex Chilton was the lead singer of, and Big Star, he went into Arden Studios. He left the box tops because they wouldn't record his songs that he was writing. The producers wanted them to remain a kind of a blue-eyed soul band. <clears throat> so he, he went into the studio and started recording his own tunes, driving power pop beat and he goes back and forth. It's a messy album, but it's an emotional ride because Alex Chilton is developing the road that he's going to take with Big Star. It's, the material on here stands up to any of his material that he's recorded in his solo career or with Big Star. He's finding his voice, he's finding his calling. He switches back and forth from his gruff soul Memphis sound to his softer mod British invasion sound. He's finding his true voice on this album. His cynical side's there as well as his romantic side. His de devoted fans will love this album. I think it's even better than any of his solo albums that he put out, which were many, they were quite a mess after he left Big Star. But this shows a fantastic picture of an artist coming into his own. And as always, as always as he's been a cult hero. He has a strong gift for songwriting and a relentless spirit. It keeps coming out rugged and tender. And he's influenced quite a few garage bands, such as The Replacements, which actually recorded a song called Alex Chilton. He does Driving songs like I Can Dig It, 
He does a weird version of Jumping Jack Flash. He turns the Archie's Sugar Sugar into a bit of heavy metal rock. And All I Want Is Money is a blues rocking tune, emotional and spontaneous, like he's always been. But this shows you where he was heading before he got to Big Star and met up with Chris Bell. You know, I was just gonna say, uh, your description of this recording makes me think of uh, the fact that sometimes an artist is better in demo mode, right? It's a simpler arrangement and it's clear for singer songwriter situation, right? You and your guitar, so to speak. Yeah. As to opposed to being overproduced. Yeah, so that's interesting flavor there. It, may, it immediately makes me think of this one album by Free. I think it's called, uh, might be called Free at Last. Uh, I'm not recalling exactly, but it's the one album that I don't like the production on. Uh. And then they came out with a box set called Songs of Yesterday, and one disc has the demos for that album. Oh, wow. And they're just, far better than the overproduced stuff that came out on the album. <laughs> so I think this is a similar situation. It's interesting and intrigues me. I want to hear the difference. So that's uh, a great thing. Okay, just to recap, Fred is recommending you check out Alex Chilton's solo work before Big Star came to be. I got that right? Yes. Yeah, so fans of Big Star, I know you're out there. And uh, he was in the box tops too, you said. Yeah, he was the lead singer of the box tops. Yeah, so I'll make a note of that too. So fans of the box tops and Big Star might enjoy Alex Chilton's uh, pre-solo stuff, right? When he, the, yeah, when he was yeah. really just a singer-songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good episode. Thank you. I'm going to stop that share and I'm going to end that recording. Here we go.